Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. This type of problem shows you how to find the natural abundances that are unknown for two naturally occurring isotopes when both of the atomic masses are known. So this problem says that nitrogen has only two naturally occurring isotopes, N15 and N14. Their atomic masses are shown below in the table. Calculate their natural abundances. So you have two unknowns here. So what you know is that natural abundance has to add up to 100%. In fraction form, you know that both have to add up to 1. So since you know that the natural abundance of N15 plus the natural abundance of N14 in their fraction form have to add up to 1, you can say that N15 is equal to x. So you've simply defined it in terms of x, which is your unknown. And if you know the two have to add up to 1, that means you can define N14 as 1 minus x. So it's what's left over when you subtract out the natural abundance of N15. They both have to, have to equal 1. So now that you've got both of the natural abundances defined in terms of x, you can substitute those terms into the weighted average equation. So what you're going to get there is x, which is the natural abundance of N15, multiplied by the atomic mass of N15. And then you're going to add it to the natural abundance of N14 multiplied by the atomic mass of N14. And that's equal to the atomic mass of nitrogen, the element. So this is the number that you find in the periodic table, 14.01. So you know by now that these atomic mass numbers for elements that are found in the periodic table are really the, the weighted atomic mass based on the different natural abundances of the different isotopes that are naturally occurring that make up an element. So when you do the math here, what you get is 15.000108x plus you take the 1 and you multiply by the natural abundance of N14 to expand this term. So it's 14.003074. And then you take the negative x and you also multiply it by the natural abundance for nitrogen. So you're going to get at minus 14.003074x and still all being equal to 14.01. So what you want to do here is combine the two x terms, and then you want to subtract this term from both sides. So you subtract it from this side, you're going to be left with 0 because you're subtracting it from itself, and then you subtract it from that side and you're left with a positive number. So what you get when you do both of those things is 0.997034x equal to 0 0.006926. So what you figure out if you go through and look at the significant figures for those two subtractions that you just did is that you're left with six significant figures for the number on the left and only one significant figure for the number on the right. So that means that when you divide the term on the right by the term on the left to solve for x, your answer is only going to have one significant figure. So you'll get something in your calculator like 0 0.006947. Rounding that to one significant figure, you get 0 0.007. So that is the fraction. If you multiply that by 100, you're going to get the percent. So it's 0.7%. So remember you solve for x here, and x was the natural abundance of N15. So you know that the natural abundance for N15 is 0.7. The natural abundance for N14, because they both have to equal 100%, will be 100% minus 0.7%, and that will give you a natural abundance uh, for N14 of 99.3%. So you solve for the natural abundance of N14, the natural abundance of N15, and that means you're done.